Hello, my name is Nikki Bray, and I am the Adaptive Learning Fellow for WCET. Today I have with me Dr. Robert Manzer, the Provost and Chief Academic Officer for American Intercontinental University. Hi, Dr. Manzer, and welcome, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me. It's great to be with you. Excellent. Well, I'm just going to pose a few questions for you that I think our community uh, would like to know more about. And we're focusing primarily on the higher ed administrators. So just to help you keep that in mind. So how did you get started? And, and when I mean you, talk about your personal experience with getting started with adaptive learning and then also maybe frame it around the organizations that you have helped foster adaptive learning. Well, I got involved with adaptive learning when I joined uh, American Intercontinental University. Uh, it was a, um, uh, a major initiative that was underway, uh, and, and, and it was a distinctive initiative because they were interested in uh, having adaptive learning throughout the curriculum, not just in quantitative areas, not just in remedial areas, but all the way across the curriculum in English classes and business classes, IT and CJ. Uh, so I got involved there and uh, came in on uh, this this project, this initiative, and um, have been able to uh, kind of pilot its development both on the curriculum side and the all important faculty side. Uh, and and so that's been the extent of my involvement with an organization. Uh, though having become involved in this way, I've become pretty active with uh, other professional associations, with um, some of the companies. Realize it, Newton and and talking and working with them as they explore the potential of this technology. <clears throat> How did you identify faculty on, on your campus or within your organization who could help champion the use of adaptive learning? Well, our, our, our circumstances are a bit different than in a traditional uh, nonprofit university in that we're 90% online, and that's where we've done the adaptive piece. We've just started um, uh, a couple of courses in an on-ground format with adaptive at our Houston and Atlanta campuses, but our real focus has been online, and and we build our online courses through a curriculum development process, and we put in Telepath, which is our adaptive learning system, in those courses. So the challenge is how do we work with faculty to teach these courses that have been created uh, in this course development process. And, and I think that's where we've made a lot of uh, real progress in showing the potential of this model. Uh, because what we've done is to engage our faculty in rethinking both the classroom and the faculty role around adaptive learning um, in such a way that you're really capitalizing on what adaptive learning can bring, as well as figuring out exactly how faculty who have a passion for student learning can be most effective. So, in a word, adaptive learning has been a catalyst to rethinking so much about our classroom and our learning model and our curriculum. Excellent. Thank you for such a great um, explanation. 